Tony Fragan, I'm from All Total Coaching. This is the Man Cave Sydney that was recorded at the end of September and this is Man Cave 1 Part 5. The next meeting we have in Sydney is on the 1st of November in Broadway. For details email me john at sosdating.com. It's in Sydney and it's free of charge. Enjoy. I actually wanted to say something very interesting that I was thinking of. I've listened, which is pretty, the subject has been very enlightening. One of the things I think is the biggest mistake amongst us men and women is that the question is, I'm waiting for the right one. It isn't a right yeah. one. Yeah, but it's like there will be a right one, male or female. To me. You said something really interesting, and I love what you said. The pressure from family to get into a relationship or, I'm working on myself. That is the most important thing that you could ever do. And for them to say, um, to turn around and say that I'm waiting for the right one, no, no, no. You need to be right yourself. We want to be the right ones ourselves, and they want to be the right ones themselves. And those things attract like a magnet. They attract. But I'll tell you right now, to look for the right one, they ain't there. That is the biggest myth of all. Because as we look at society now, and I'm telling you, every time we open the newspaper, I am flabbergasted at the junk that is happening to us. Seriously, it is disgusting. I'm 60 years old. I never thought I'd get to this stage and look through the paper and go, oh my God. And you said something about um, women, right? Well, let's, let's discuss, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages yes. of marriage. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're talking about the topic. Of advantages of marriage for male and female. Please, let's open this discussion. For me personally, being married and divorced. I was married for whew, 17 years, divorced 10 years. I was in for the long haul. If that decision isn't made at the beginning, you set yourself up for failure. I think you always like that. Well, I, I, I was hoping the same person that said I do beside me had the same mindset. By saying to me, I'm in this till we grow old. Until. And it's the until. When that until happens, how you uh, could construct, how you see it, and how you handle it, yes. is going to determine where this thing ends up. Well, I was in for the long haul. Women are attracted to commitment. Any kind of commitment. So, like a bodybuilder that guy's committed to you know, the gym every day. Yep. Or, yeah. Or. Yes. That's or, feminine. Yeah, but, 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 but you think about it. So are men also committed to commitment. I don't go into a relationship because I don't want to be committed. I go into a relationship because I said I do and I want to see it to the end. End of story. Now that is determined by how you are raised and brought up. Depending, you're talking about culture. If you come from a culture which is about family, you're going to want to raise a family. If you come from a culture like my culture, then it's family. But then you've got those individuals within the family who are disjointed and are dysfunctional, who the marriages dis dissipate. There's no father. The and one of the problems is growing kids, growing up without a father, and they become feminized because a woman cannot take a child fishing out of the football because she doesn't. But all she's going to talk, talk is about her feelings. But the kid, as boys, we orientated to be proactive, doing things. Like David Dada said, a man has a penis, he has to extend himself the world. What does that mean? Do things. But women tend to want to talk about it. Let's talk about it. But how much is she going to talk about it? Let's keep talking and talking, but they don't come to the solution. Now, now again, this is the problem. The difference between women and men, I just want to touch on the topic that we both, about commitment. A man, when he says a commitment, it's a commitment for now, no matter what. A woman's commitment is now, but I can change my mind if I don't feel about it. If my emotions is changed. Love, and love this, conditionally. It's, it's a love is conditionally. The love of a man to a woman, I love you just the way you are. And I love you the way you are forever. But a woman's love to a man is conditional. And if those conditions that you're providing now have changed over time, I no longer love you. Now, please, brief out small. I mentioned this in my book, brief out small. Look at it. As long as the woman, the we, woman is the one that creates the conditions of the family and as long as the man provides those conditions she stays and as long as once those conditions are provided to her she can change her mind women's commitment to a topic 
is different completely to a man. And the reason a man uses commitment logically, the commitment for a woman is emotionally. And the emotions I feel today may change in three, four, five years. And this is where men don't understand. Because a commitment, if I shake your hand, it's a commitment logically. But you cannot commit to the same thing when your way of thinking of commitment is totally different from a logical point to a not to a, a, an emotional point. And emotions are not the same thing. And a man, my dear friends, is good as his word. If you do not say, if you say something and you do not do it, and you flake on me once, twice, three times, the third time nobody will believe you. And your word, over time, will determine how many real friends you have. Did you hear what I just said? Because if you flake on me, or you flake on me once, twice, but the third time, I do not believe your word anymore. You have no friends. We have no friends. And your friends, the reason all of you are here, because you know I've got a word. You wouldn't waste your time and come here because you can do a million one. The reason all of you are here and we're about 20 people here is because you know I've got a word. I say something and I do it. Okay? And if you want to have good connections, you say something, do it. Good. If not, say I would like to, but more than likely, John, I can't do it because of such and such, but I promise I'll do my best. But if you say something, do it. Because you, as good as your word. And if you don't have a word, there's only one word I have got to say to you. Mangina. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm in the corporate world. Wouldn't you say that, the, like, I'm not being sexist, but females shouldn't have that high power CEO, like, have the high responsibilities, because they're so... I believe, personally, I believe, uh, personally, women are capable. Yeah. But the problem is, they can do, make decisions on an emotional level. Yeah. I don't see any problem with CEOs women. I see a problem if there's a deadline, and then suddenly they get their peer, and oh, I can't do it, I can't do it. That's a problem. I don't see that women are incapable. I didn't ever say that, I never said that. I see that women are, are, are capable. But if you got a freaking deadline, I don't care if you're bleeding for your ass, yeah. do the job and finish it. Yeah. If not, you don't have a word. Get What's the, the problem? Get yeah. yeah, the job done, yes. Johnny, I just want to go back to this gentleman here. Um, by the sounds of things, it's actually bothering you. Um, about your family's putting pressure on you, is it really bothering you? I want to ask you, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. That's all. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of stressing you out. So when you stress out about family, about home life, it tends to filter into your career and whatever it is. No, I'm not saying that that's what's happening, but that tends to. It can happen. Yeah. It's like a fear of regret. I it's guess. a fear of regret. So the, the question I have for you is, um, how? Do you, okay, do you feel like they're pushing you around? Just a yes or no. Society. Okay. So so you feel because what's what Society. you need to be aware of is that for men we fall under. Oh, Society expects us to get mad. Like John mentioned before, you ask yourself, what do you want? What do you want? Do you Not want society. But what do you want? Yeah, well, what you need to do by the sounds of things, do you, I want to ask you another question, do you fight with your family? No, I, um, well, sometimes. Depends what it is. Okay, so yeah. how do you... In this particular thing? No. But there's a certain amount of, like, I feel like there might be some resentment towards me within the family, but not... But that's what you think. Yeah. Is there resentment? I'm holding myself accountable for my own actions, I guess. This is... Yeah. Yeah, I think John's on the right track. Like, your, your intentions, obviously, are to find something long-term. Okay, that's just, 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 yeah, yeah, but that's not about... It's not about okay. person. It's not about... Forget about that. I'm going to... I'm just keeping the focus on you. Yeah. By the sounds of it, like, I'm not, I'm not prying into your business, but... I think you need to sit down with whoever's giving you a hard time and say, hey, look, why are you putting pressure on me? What it's usually, like he said, yeah. they're coming from their own needs rather than your own needs. Exactly. A gentleman here earlier said, they're coming from their own wanting rather than your wanting. That's yeah, right. You know what, I, I mean, me, I'm, I'm 34 years old and I come from a Lebanese background and my, and my mother's an Aussie. She's really laid back about it. I mean, I come from a bit of an ethnic background, and I think we all know what ethnics are like when it comes to marriage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and you've got to, what I had to do, it didn't happen overnight. 
It happened over an, ex an, over an extended period of time. Um, you've really got to set your boundaries. And you really, really what's really important for a man is how you stand up for yourself. And how you handle the issues. How you handle the issues. How you handle about being a being. I, I thought about it logically and I yeah. said, what's the advantages and disadvantages of marriage? And I was really fine. So that concludes uh, Cave 1, Part 5 of our series. Cave, Sydney Cave number 2, is going to be this Sunday, the 1st of November, in Sydney. For details, for attending free of charge, email us, john at SOS Dating, for full transcripts of this presentation and the future presentations. Again, email us at john at SOSDating.com. Thank you very much for listening. I'm your friend, John Ifragan. Bye-bye.